Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see how to find the longest palindromic substring given a string. Okay, so let us look at the problem statement. Let us say we are given a string which is a a a a double b and then double a. Now what will be the longest palindromic substring here? You can see that the longest palindromic substring will be double a double b and double a. This is of length 6. This will be the longest palindromic substring. Now how can you find the longest palindromic substring? The first method which is the brute force is that produce all possible substrings. Produce all substrings and then check for each substring for each substring check if it is palindrome. Okay check if palindrome. So what will be the time complexity of this? If you already know, if you have a substring, if you have a string of length n, okay, then there will be order of n square possible substrings, okay. So in order to check whether a given string is palindrome or not, you need to scan through all the elements of that string and therefore to check palindrome you need order of n time. Therefore this brute force method will take order of n square into order of n. Because for each possible substring, you will have to check whether it is a palindrome or not. Therefore, the time will be order of n cube. Okay. So, this will be the time complexity. Now, what can be the better approach? One better approach can be by using what is called dynamic programming. Okay. So, let us look at how can we solve it by using dynamic programming. Let us say we take the same string. Okay. Now how can we find the longest palindromic substring? Let me give the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. Now I will just make a table which will be from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which will be the length and row will also be the length 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I will explain you how I am filling this and why I am filling this. Okay. So first I will make the table. Let me make the table. It will not look too good because I am not good at drawing lines or either at drawing. Okay. So have some patience. This table is almost built. Okay. Now that we are done, this indicates the starting position. Okay. So this here is start and this here is ending position. So these are the indices of the given string. If I say that the starting position is 0 and ending position is 3, then I mean this, this substring. Okay. So this is the meaning of this table. So what I will do is I will just fill this diagonal first. Okay. Because the diagonal is covering from 0 to 0, from 1 to 1, from 2 to 2. And this indicates only a single element. Suppose I write from 0 to 0. So what is the substring? which starts at 0 and ends at 0, it is only A. Okay. So this diagonal is basically a substring which is having just one element. And you already know that if a substring or a string is having just single alphabet, then it will always be a palindrome. So you will fill this diagonal by 1. Okay. So I am filling this by 1. Because a single letter is always a palindrome. Now what I will do is I will similarly fill this length 2 substring. Okay, so how will you compare the length 2 substring? Let us say you are given 0, 1. Okay, like this index. This index. From starting position 0 and ending index is 1. So how will you find whether this is palindrome? You will simply compare if string at starting position equals string at ending position. If they both are equal then this is palindrome. You can see that string at starting position which is 0 is A and string at ending position is also A. So both are equal. Therefore, this is a palindrome. Similarly, I will fill for 1 to 2. For 1 to 2, you can see that A, A is also a palindrome. So you will fill 1. Similarly, from 2 to 3 is also a palindrome. You will fill 1. This one is not a palindrome. You will fill 0. This BB is a palindrome. You will fill 1. BA is not a palindrome. You will fill 0 and AA is a palindrome. Therefore, you will fill 1. Okay. Now, after filling this length 1 and length 2 substrings, 
Now what you will do is you will make a loop and you will just iterate through the entire loop. Okay, so I will show you the condition how you will check whether a given string is a palindrome or not. Okay, so suppose you have this a b c b a. Now suppose you know whether this one is a palindrome or not. Then how will you determine whether this entire string is palindrome or not? Suppose this is the starting position and this is the ending position. Okay. Now what you will do is you will compare this starting position element with the ending position element. If this string at starting position equals the string at ending position, if they both are equal, then this entire string will be palindrome only if the inside substring is a palindrome. Okay, so there are two conditions. Okay, first one is that S at start, this is start. Okay, this is start and this is end. S at start should be equal to S at end. Okay, if the boundary elements are equal and second condition is that non-boundary substring non-boundary substring should be palindrome okay should be palindrome if these two conditions are fulfilled then you can say that this entire string is a palindrome okay now how can we write it mathematically let me write it in mathematical form so substring from starting location i to ending location j is a palindrome provided str at i that means string at starting location equals equals string at ending location which is j and the second condition is that from this table we can find whether dp at i plus 1 and j minus 1 equals equals 1. Now what does this mean? If you are given a substring which is starting at ith index and ending at jth index, then this substring will be a palindrome only if the boundary elements are equal as I told you that string at i equals string at j and also the substring which is contained inside is also, is also a palindrome. Okay. So now you guess the reason that why I have filled this, these two length 1 and length 2 substrings first without applying this condition because this condition do not apply to length 1 and length 2 substrings. Okay. So this can be generalized for length greater than equals to 3. Therefore you will have to always pre-process and fill this length 1 and length 2 first. Then only you can apply this formula. Okay. So let us fill this entire table after applying this formula. We will see from 0 to 2. So let me again write this string because it's looking messy. Okay. And now let me index it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. So now we are seeing from 0 to 2. So this is from 0 to 2. You can see that from 0 to 2, this element, this boundary element is equal. Okay. So now I will go from 0 to 1 and from 2 to 1. So I will look at 1 1 whether this element is also a palindrome. So at 1 1 this is 1. So this is a palindrome and boundary elements are also equal. Therefore you can say that the substring from 0 to 2 is also a palindrome and you will fill here 1. Now let us look at the substring from 1 to 3. So from 1 to 3 you also have this a a a. So the boundary elements here a, 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 boundary elements are A and A and the inside element is just a single element which is having an index of 2. Therefore, we will look at 2, 2. 2, 2 is, is 1. Okay. And boundary elements are equal. Therefore, this will also be a palindrome. Now, let us look at from 2 to 4. So, from 2 to 4, this will be A, A, B. So, from 2 to 4, it will be A, A, B. Now, these boundary elements are not equal. So the first condition is not fulfilled. Therefore, this can never be a palindrome. So you will fill here 0. Okay, let us look at from 3 to 5. From 3 to 5, you will have this one. A, B, B. Okay, this is also not a palindrome. Because boundary elements are not equal. 
so this will be filled with 0 from 4 to 6 4 to 6 will be BBA and this is also not a palindrome because boundary elements are not equal from 6 to 7 not from 6 to 7 I think it is from 5 to 7 yes from 5 to 7 it is BAA and this is also not a palindrome because boundary elements B and A are not equal okay now similarly we will fill from 0 to 3 so let me rub it in order to make some space okay so yes I have made some space here and now let me again write A A A A double B double A this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so now we are seeing from 0 to 3 you can see that from 0 to 3 this boundary element is equal this A is equal to this, L, this A okay so we will check whether the substring contained within the boundary element is also palindrome or not first condition is fulfilled because boundary elements are equal we will look for the second condition we will increment i to i plus 1 and we will we will decrement this j to j minus 1 and we will look from 1 to 2 because this is the range which is contained with inside the boundary element so we will go to 1 2 you can see that 1 2 this one is 1 because this is a palindrome therefore this entire substring from 0 to 3 will also be a palindrome because boundary elements are equal and the uh, substring which is contained within the boundary element is also a palindrome therefore from 0 to 3 this will be a palindrome okay now we'll take from 1 to 4 similarly it is self-explanatory this will not be a palindrome because boundary elements are not equal from 2 to 5 from 2 to 5 this will also not be a palindrome since boundary elements are not equal we will check from 3 to 6 okay from 3 to 6 you can see that this is a palindrome it is a b b a okay boundary elements are equal and then we will check from 4 to 5 that means 4 5 we will go to 4 5 4 5 is this one this is one so this will be a palindrome okay so we will put here one similarly from 4 to 7 you can see that this is not a palindrome because boundary elements are not equal so this will be zero similarly we will move from zero to four from zero to four you can see that this is not a palindrome it will be zero from one to five this is also not a palindrome boundary elements are not equal from two to six from two to six this is also not a palindrome okay you can see that from two to six it is a a b b a boundary elements are equal okay so we will look at this index this is 3 and this is 5 when you go to 3 5 it is 0 here it is 0 okay so since it is 0 it is not a palindrome so the string contained inside is not a palindrome therefore entire string cannot be a palindrome so this will also be a 0 we will look from 3 to 7 from 3 to 7 you can see that this is also not a palindrome it will be 0 now you will increment the length from 0 to 5 0 to 5 is not a palindrome 1 to 6 1 to 6 is not a palindrome then you will check from 2 to 7 from 2 to 7 it is a palindrome you will put here 1 okay you can check that from 2 to 7 you have a a b b a a and this will be a palindrome if you uh, we verify both the conditions from 0 to 6 it is not a palindrome from 1 to 7 is not a palindrome and from 0 to 7 it's also not a palindrome so what will be the longest palindrome you can see that the longest palindrome will be from 2 to 7 okay so you can find out the longest palindrome by keeping track of this what you are feeling okay so that you, you don't have to check it again so you can just uh, take a variable name max length and you can just keep track of what is the maximum length and you can find out the index here okay there can be a twist in this question if only proper substrings are asked then you cannot take this box because this box here is covering the entire string this is from 0 to 7 this is the entire length of the string okay so this is not a proper substring but if nothing is said then you can include this i think okay now what will be the time complexity the time complexity for building this entire entire table is order of n square okay so the time complexity for building the table is n square and we are just traversing and filling this table 
so that is also n square so the time complexity is order of n square plus order of n square which will be order of n square itself okay i hope you are able to understand my explanation if you have any type of doubt then feel free to comment below and i will help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos see you in our next video thank you